Yeah, NOPD tells us just yesterday a woman was driving in this area when suspects inside of an SUV tried to run her off the road, even pointing a gun at her at some point. Now she was able to get away and dial 911, but days before a very similar situation on the bridge. Out of nowhere, this guy starts riding along with me. And I'm thinking, this is weird. He starts coming into my lane. He's trying to push me into the guardrail, but um, I'm not gonna allow him. A driver's worst nightmare. There was nothing that we did to this man for him to taunt us, harass us, and threaten our life like he did. This woman didn't want to use her name for safety reasons, but tells WDSU she was driving along I-10 in New Orleans with a friend on the morning of November 5th when a man she didn't know pulled up right beside her, trying to run her off the bridge. She tried her best to get away, but minutes later, she saw him again. He wasn't brandishing the gun. You know, typically somebody will do something like this, but this dude was like, Thankfully, she was able to get away, snapping a photo of the vehicle. She drove herself to the Kenner Police Department to file a police report. We tracked it down. We located the individual who's in Baton Rouge. Kenner officers were able to use that photo to find the person responsible. 50-year-old Gary Grimes received a court summons. He's been charged with aggravated assault with a firearm. Unfortunately, Mike Cunningham says these types of incidents are becoming more and more frequent on the roads. Just Wednesday, NOPD reports unknown suspects inside of an SUV trying to drive a woman off the road here along St. Claude Avenue. Be cautious, don't panic, because that's what saved us. We did not panic. Now, when it comes to this incident that happened here along St. Claude Avenue, officials are actually treating it as an attempted carjacking at this point. I'm told three suspects have already been arrested. Now, police also had a couple tips. They say if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're being followed, never drive home and, and try to get yourself to the nearest police station if possible. Reporting from along St. Claude, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News. Shay, thank you. The early